Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video I want to teach you how to rush to IR, spe specifically to uh, China. I reached IR in like 70 minutes 57 seconds, it's a new record for me. The last record was at like 90 minutes 20 seconds. But until then the worker production speed increased. It's now one second um, faster to produce pretty much everywhere. But even without this change, I would still be faster by around like 40 seconds since to produce like 40 workers, it takes, it will save you 40 seconds and that subtracted from 90 minutes 20 seconds is 18 minutes 40 seconds. So I would still be faster by 40 seconds. So that's a quite interesting replay to watch. And since China got introduced, it's also pretty useful because China pretty much um, benefits from rushing IRA. But more to that I will mention in the video, so let's go. Here we are in the replay. And um, before I get into rushing IR, you have to understand the fundamentals of rushing IR. When you want to get the IR, you obviously have to pass through the Iron Age, the early and late middle age, and also you have to get to the industrial age. And that in total takes 11 minutes 30 seconds. That's the set time you have to take for going through the ages. Then to enter the late middle ages, we have to have 50 workers. You start with 10 workers, so you need to produce 40 workers at some point. You can produce those in the Stone Age for 9 seconds, which will take 360 seconds, which equals 6 minutes. So 17 minutes 30 seconds is the set time. You cannot be faster than that. But since when you enter the Bronze Age and the Middle Age, you have to upgrade all your workers and buildings, it will take like 20 seconds if you do nothing in that time. But you can also produce some workers in that time. So if you produce like two workers in that time instead of the Stone Age, you actually don't lose time upgrading the houses. You only lose the time by producing the workers for a slower time. Like in the Bronze Age, it takes 10 seconds. In the Middle Age, 11 seconds. So in total, you maybe lose like six seconds. And let's say with the start of the game, to click on your altar, going through the ages, you lose another four seconds. So humanly possible the fastest time you can get is 17 minutes 40 seconds in this replay i got it at 17 minutes 57 seconds because obviously everyone does some mistakes but i think if you don't do any major mistakes it can get ir in 18 minutes so when we get into this replay here specifically you have to go bronze age once you reach 36 workers once the 36 workers um, left the altar, you immediately start queuing to the Bronze Age of Asia. Also make sure that you have 12 houses to support 48 population, because when you enter the Bronze Age you will have 46 population. So as, as you can see here, the last workers produced. Now once I reach 36 population, you go for the Bronze Age upgrade of Asia. Also meanwhile you also had all those upgrades in here just because you don't rush to the Bronze Age, but stay longer in it, just to get the workers for 9 seconds. It's important that you don't build unnecessary houses now, don't build any unnecessary buildings. This building I only build it to get the fish, because fish is obviously faster than berries, so that kind of balance it, balances it out. Right now you just wait to get the Bronze Age, and it's important when you get bronze that you upgrade everything but you don't upgrade the buildings that you don't need to be upgraded this warehouse was unnecessary so i deleted it i actually forgot to upgrade this uh, like to delete this house here because it's not useful i can actually like make a poultry yard here and the workers will collect to the poultry yard and those workers will actually go to the iron so i could have actually just deleted that one instead of upgrading it but it's not a big deal so when you go Bronze Age, it's important that you queue up two workers immediately inside. They take 20 seconds and meanwhile you have 20 seconds to upgrade everything. You also have to upgrade a few workers like around 14, 13, 15 and you send them on the iron immediately. In the best case they would already stand here and already be on the iron. But as I said, everyone does some small mistakes. So. As you see, the last worker is finished and then you go Iron Age, but as you see you have no iron right now. 
and they are collecting just too slow because of the 0.5 production speed which they, means they would mine for 20 seconds and only then deliver the iron so you actually have to micro mine with them you have to send them to the iron and once they collect like three four iron you, you just send them back to your main building and do that f back all the time you know so you get iron and it meanwhile gets already consumed in the main building once you reach the stable amount of iron you don't have to micro mine anymore and you can just focus on other stuff. It's important that you don't build any any unnecessary buildings again. The poultry yard is necessary since the berries are finished. The dock is really good since you can make five more fishing boats. Make sure to not make six since you need two more workers in the middle age. Once you reach the iron age, you just like immediately go to the um, eastern Asian country. Eastern Asian nation and you don't take any eco upgrades here since to make them takes one minute you will be in the next stage in two minutes and they don't really pay back so right now you just produce for like five ships get a stable economy you need around 3, 3k wood 3k food to upgrade everything all the workers all the houses and if you have a bad spawn you probably will not be able to upgrade all houses and in that case I will show you what to do so here you reach the middle age and you immediately just queue two workers inside here and keep in mind if you're like um, struggling with the speed of upgrading everything you can just do the same strategy but instead of going to bronze age with 36 workers you go like with 34 and then each time when you enter bronze age or middle age instead of queuing here too you queue three you will just lose like three seconds but it will be much easier to manage for you, I guess. So right now here you should focus on upgrading the warehouses, the necessary ones, then the dock, the poultry yard, and only then the houses. Oh, and of course the workers. And you probably will not be able to have enough wood for the houses. And in that case, you upgrade all the houses you can, and delete the ones you don't, you, c you cannot upgrade. So you can immediately go to the late middle age. So in, now you are going late middle age, you have to keep in mind that you don't run out of resources, that you don't go zero in any of the resources, because once you go zero, the upgrade will be delayed. You will be going slower to late middle age or industrial. So make sure to never run out of any resource. So here you are just waiting to get to the late middle ages. You, here you just have to like economy manage everything and once you go late manage you immediately go China and you take the upgrade here I did not take it because it's, I'm still <laughs> not familiar with it and I forgot to take it everyone does his mistakes and now we will talk about why China is that good in rushing IR um, because when you go China and you hit IR China takes only 9 seconds to produce one workers, in the middle age it takes like 11 seconds. So every worker you make in the industrial age with China, you will save 2 seconds. So if you make 30 workers there, you already saved 1 minute, you know. And also, it's very cheap to upgrade all the workers of China and the warehouses and everything just. Which means you will already have the 150% efficiency storage boost for your workers and your workers will also work at a much faster speed. Then you will also have an upgraded dock where you can produce the Chinese um, boats which are quite good for fishing since there are only one population. And your economy with China will just boom. It will go really really good. And that's why China is so good at rushing IR. Not only because of that but because the workers since they get upgraded have 20 damage and this 20 damage is enough to actually protect against some middle age armies. Then you also have those houses of China and those can recruit militiamen and we all know how strong they are. They can also defend. And here in this replay I entered China as, you, as I said earlier in 17 minutes 57 seconds. A pretty fast time, yes I know. And once you reached IR 
it's your priority is to upgrade your workers as much as you can. Then upgrade your warehouses, your docks, maybe your poultry yard. And you just have to send off of iron your workers since you don't need any iron now. And you have to again economy manage your workers in a way that you get the resources you need and not the ones you don't need. You can upgrade pretty fast everything with China as you see. It's not immediate and but you can see like for example uh Chinese worker on wood is 1.5 speed and the middle age worker 1.3 you, you already benefit very by a lot by rushing industrial age. You can rush industrial age pretty fast with every Asian country. With Europe there's a small problem though, since your buildings are much more expensive to upgrade. So you may lose some time here and there. You, and the problem also is that you cannot produce workers in the Middle Age and the Bronze Age that much because they are like 15 seconds to produce or 17 seconds. So you actually don't lose like, like with Asia 2 seconds or 1 second. But you actually lose like 5-7 seconds per worker. And if you do that with like 10 workers, since you need a lot of time to upgrade everything, you already lost over a minute and that's just too much. So maybe with Europe, instead of 18 minutes, it takes like maybe 19 minutes or maybe 20 minutes even to rush IR. And China will greatly benefit from it. You build up your economy, you already make like 20 more workers, then you build all your barracks and all that stuff and you can dominate your opponent pretty early. And yeah, that's it guys. That's a very good strategy. I only would recommend you to use it like in the back line of a team game when someone can protect you, but not in the front line, don't do it. You can easily get wrecked by early units like of any age before, bronze age units, stone age units, light knights, everything can just kill you. So only do it when you know you're safe or when someone can protect you in a way that you can do it. Thank you guys for watching, see you next time.